Well, congratulations, Aaliyah White, the new UCF women's softball wins all-time leader. How does that sound? Um, super cool. Um, just super grateful and super honored is really um, my words for it. Without the girls behind me and the teams that I've played with my last four years here, it wouldn't be possible. Well, yeah, you had a perfect game through four innings. Were you kind of thinking about that through the rest of the or while it was happening and through the rest of the game or not? Honestly, no. Um, I just went pitch by pitch today and um, focused on my breath and just let the defense behind me work. Yeah, speaking of the defense behind you, Georgia Blair had that great double play there in the fourth or fifth inning with the catch on the line drive and turning it back to second to get the tag out. Um, what can you say about her play and your defense as a whole? Kind of expand on that. I mean, my defense as a whole is unstoppable. Um, it, it's why I'm here my last four years, um, all combined, honestly. Um, we take pride in what we do in our defense. And Georgia Blair, she is awesome. She's an animal. She's so good. Um, and love having her behind me. So take me through that last pitch. You get the strikeout, and then your team, your teammates kind of swarming. Just take me through what was going through your mind at that moment, and, and what was that like in the postgame? I mean, being in the middle of all of them is unbelievable. Um, seeing their smiles on their faces and them so happy, um, I mean, I have no words for it. <laughs> uh, like, speechless. It's so awesome to see them and – I know I wouldn't be here without any of them. Like Coach Bear said, you can't do it alone. And that pretty much sums it up. What were some of the things that your teammates and coaches were saying to you after the game? They just said congratulations, like they're so proud. Um, and then just giving me hugs and just grateful. So last weekend you played at FGCU. This weekend was the first weekend really since since COVID you got to play on your home field. What are your emotions after completing your first series after nearly a year of not being able to play on the home field? There's nothing like playing on your home turf. Um, it gets you every time and it's such a beautiful place to be and it brings back all the memories possible in the last four years and nothing beats it. I know you got a lot of softball left in you, but you know the history of this program. You know the history of the great pitchers this program's had. It's in your in the office. Every time you walk in there, you see Allison Kime, Dottie Cup, the Lindsay Enders, the pitchers before you, and of course Mackenzie Otis, you know well, and Shelby, you know well. You've gotten to know them. What's going through your mind? You're in that list. You're in that pathion now. You're right there with them as you're passing that torch, and you're going to pass that on to future night pitchers. Um, I'm just so honored. Um, to even be mentioned with those with those people above me. Um, and to pass the torch is unbelievable. Um, and yep, sorry. That's good. That's what I got. I know you said you weren't thinking about the um, becoming the wins leader much leading up to this game, but does it kind of feel like a pressure is off you now that you've, um, now that you've broken the record? For sure. Um, leading up to it, um, like you said, I didn't really want to talk about it. Um, but now it's like, you just get to play the game. Um, as a team, we get to show everyone what we got. And this team's something special and we're about to show everyone what we got. And now it's fun. So obviously you talked about your defense. Um, how about on uh, the batting side of things in this series? Unbelievable record setting numbers in that aspect too. Um, what can you say about the hitters in this series? Our bats are on fire. Um, like I said, I, I wouldn't want to pitch to them. Um, they're absolutely awesome. And for them just to keep rocking it and trusting the process, Go game by game, and we're making lots of noise. 
Last question from me. Obviously, you embrace with Coach Bear. She's meant a lot to you. I don't know if you're aware, but she has 91 wins as a pitcher in her career specific. You know, are you going to try to chase her down on that? And then your parents, obviously, in attendance had to mean a lot to you. Yeah, my parents are everything. Um, I'm so grateful that they got to be here and that we got to cherish this moment together because I wouldn't be who I am or where I am without them. And good to know about Coach Bear with those 91 wins. Coach Bear, I'm coming at you, sister. <laughs> this, this is my last one. So you've got Missouri coming up on Wednesday at home, first ranked game of the season. How do you feel going into that one? What are you going to do to kind of prepare for it? I think we just keep doing what we're doing, um, rocking and rolling, trusting the process, focusing on the little things, um, and go game by game. I mean, that's all you really can do. And if we do what we know how to do and play our game, then we should be in good shape.